Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda, and today is Fan yeah. Custom yeah. Friday, yeah. where I pick one of my fans' custom OC ponies, and I make it in real life on my channel. And this month's winner is Melon Burst. Melon Burst was submitted to me by Malia, all the way from Hawaii. Melon Burst is a melon farmer. She loves to make her friends smile by making them lots of tasty treats. A melon Burst has a bright and bubbly personality, always happy and smiling. Let's get started making Melon Burst. Pinkie Pie is going to be transformed into Melon Burst today. I'm starting off by using a little bit of acetone to remove her cutie mark. And I'm also going to use some acetone to remove the bottom half of Pinkie Pie's eyes. Now I need to remove Pinkie Pie's head. To do that, I grab it firmly and twist it to the side until the neck plug pops right out just like that. And to remove Pinkie Pie's hair, you need to remove the neck plug from the inside. Sometimes, depending on how much glue they used on your figurine, you can pull it out with some pliers or tweezers. But and this one is just not budging. So I'm going to grab my X-Acto knife and make a series of small cuts all around the neck plug and then pull it right out. And I'm gonna put this neck plug to the side somewhere safe because I will need it later. You can see inside where all the hair is anchored inside of the head and we're gonna be pulling it out. To make the process simpler and easier, I suggest cutting off all of Pinkie Pie's hair first. So I use some big scissors to cut off the bulk and then these really tiny scissors to get the hair all the way down to the scalp. I'm going to grab my pliers again, reach inside of the head and pull out all the clumps of hair and glue. So there it is. And just repeat that until it is all out and Pinkie Pie is completely bald and ready for her customization. Moving on to the body, I have cut all around the neck plug here and I'm pulling it out there. And I'm gonna remove the tail, grabbing some scissors, cutting off the bulk of it and reaching inside with my pliers and pulling the rest of the tail out. Now there is a little metal washer inside of these G4 ponies. So make sure that you get that out because if you don't, you might have problem getting a new tail in later. For the body, I'm gonna be using a mixture of half red and half pink to get a really pretty pinky red color, just like Melon Burst. So I used half red, half pink, and it gave me this gorgeous shade. I absolutely love it. I think it's a great match to Melon Burst. And since this is acrylic paint, it is going to take probably four coats to get full opaque coverage. And I'm just going to paint the body and the head. And when I paint the head, I'm going to carefully go around the eye area to save it. I don't want to have to go in there and redraw the shape of the eye. And here is four coats of acrylic paint. I love the color, it is so pretty. Now I grabbed this bright green and I'm going to paint just the tips of Melon Burst's ears. So it looks just like Malia's drawing. And I'm gonna start working on the eyes. I've taken the same shade of green I used for the ears and I've added a little bit of black to create a darker green color. And I'm drawing a line right underneath the eyes because Melon Burst 
does have eyes that look like little slices of watermelon. I'm outlining the eye with black. I'm gonna go in and paint the entire inside black area and give her some bright blue eyes just like the drawing. And here's the completed eye. It looks really nice. Now I'm gonna go in with a medium pink color and I'm going to create the triangle that's around her eye to make it look like it is a slice of watermelon. And it is going to take several coats of paint for the pink to really stand out. And now I've switched to a dark maroon colored paint and I'm going to give Melon Burst her freckles. And once all the paint has dried, I'm gonna go over it with a clear top coat to seal all of my work in. And once the top coat has dried, it is time for some hair. For Melon Burst hair, I have two shades of green, this really pretty bright green and this dark green. I think that it is perfect match to the drawing. And I'm going to be rerouting the pony using the little tool I got from dollyhair.com. I've cut the hair into strands that are one quarter the original length. I wrap it around my finger and anchor that hair in between the two prongs on my rerouting tool, pressing that into one of the little hair plug holes, and that's how easy it is to put one plug of hair. I'm going to be doing the entire right side of the pony with the bright colored green, and then I'm gonna do the left side with the dark colored green. And here's the inside of the pony's head. You can see all of those hair plugs are anchored in, but they need to be secured. I like to use a little bit of fabric glue, squirt it directly inside of the head, and evenly distribute that glue using a Q-tip. And I'm gonna put this to the side, let the glue dry, and start working on the body. So here's the body with four coats of that really pretty pinky red color. I am using some nail striping tape and I'm going to put it at the bottom of the legs to map out where I'm going to be giving melon bursts green hooves and this green is kind of thin so it is going to take a couple of coats to get a really pretty vivid green color Melon Burst hooves are covered in glitter. So while the paint is still wet, I am going to tap on some finely milled green glitter to make it sparkle. Once you remove the nail striping tape, you'll be left with a really crisp line. That looks so nice. I'm just gonna repeat this process on the other two legs. I am in love with the glittery look on Melon Burst Hooves. It is so Awesome. It's time to start working on her flank. Melon Burst does have a green patch on her flank and inside of that patch is her cutie mark 
which is a slice of watermelon with a bite taken out of it. Super cute. And the rind of the watermelon does have some glitter. So I used the same color green I used on the hooves and I'm using the same pinky red color I used for the body to draw in the watermelon slice. And I'm gonna use that dark green color I used under her eyes for the watermelon rind. And I'm gonna actually use a darker green glitter here um, than I used on the hooves. And I'm taking that same cranberry wine color I used earlier for her freckles and I'm putting in the little seeds on the watermelon and later on I'm going to use that same color and the same technique to put the spots all over the bottom of her legs and I'm applying the glitter here with the tip of a q-tip and it looks so cute I think it really looks like Malia's drawing. So here come all of her freckles and spots on her leg and flank. And once all of this has completely dried, I'm gonna seal the entire body with a layer of clear coat so that none of my work peels off. And this looks so nice. I really like the idea of the watermelon. This is, is so cute. And here's the body all sealed up. Now it's time for the tail. I have a mixture of the light and dark green here. I have secured it with a twist tie. I'm going to press that through the tail hole, pull it about halfway through with my pliers, remove that twist tie and replace it with a zip tie. Make sure that you secure the zip tie as tight as it possibly can get because if you don't that hair will come loose when you play with it and then just use your scissors and snip off the excess at the top and then pull that tail all the way through and just like that melon burst got her really pretty two-toned tail and now I'm going to use some Gorilla Glue and reattach the neck plugs and put the head back on the body. Melon Burst is all done. Let's take a look at the finished custom. Here she is and she looks so yummy. I love the way that she came out. Let's take a look at a comparison between Malia's drawing and the real life OC pony. So, so cool. If you would like a chance at having your OC pony made in real life, stay tuned for all of the Fan Custom Friday giveaway details. And thank you so much for watching, little pandas. Until next time, bye! Want to see your OC Pony made in real life? It could happen. Submit a drawing of your OC Pony along with a short story about him or her directly to me and be sure to include your OC's name. Once a month, I will randomly choose a pony to create in real life on my channel. Anyone can enter no matter where you live and it is completely free. There is no charge to submit your pony and there is no charge to make it if you win. I'll even mail you the finished pony as long as you have a valid mailing address. I ship worldwide and of course shipping is free. Here are the Fan Custom Friday rules. 
One, you must be a subscriber to this channel. So submit your YouTube name along with your OC so I can verify. And if you are underage or your parents do not let you have a YouTube channel, no problem. Just let me know when you submit your pony. And two, if you are under 18, please ask your parents' permission before entering the there giveaway. There are three different ways to submit your OC pony. You can either message me on Facebook or comment on my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Mandapanda Toy Collector. You can message me on Instagram at Mandapanda Toy Collector, or you can mail me your drawing and your story to Mandapanda PO Box 65105, San Antonio, Texas 78265. Just a reminder, Fan Custom Friday is intended to encourage your imagination imagination and creativity so please avoid plagiarizing other people's works from websites such as deviant art and google